Hey guys, Mike here with Century Security Systems Incorporated. This week we're going to continue along with our GeoVision VMS How To series. Last week we covered playing back video. This week we're going to look at how to back up the video. So once you play back the video, you know that an incident's been happened, has happened, and you need that footage for whatever reason. So up here along the toolbar, you've got your different view modes. So this is your home, which is going to give you your live view, and this is your view log. Okay, so the part that kind of throws people off on here, okay, if you go up here to your toolbar, you don't have the options that you need to back up the video. What you actually have to do first is click on the view log. Okay, and then now when you click on the toolbar, you've got new options here. Under tools, you can go to backup. Okay, you'll also notice there's a button down here called save as AVI. We're going to take a look at that after we do the backup button. So the first option it's going to give you here is to select where you're going to save the backup to. You can use a CD or DVD. Um, if you pick this option, you have to select which burning software you're going to use, something like Nero, or you can simply use the built-in Windows burning down here. My system, I don't have a CD-ROM drive or DVD-ROM drive in it, so those options are grayed out. I can't use them. Um, not really use much anymore. Typically, these will be backed up to a hard disk or a USB thumb drive. And what we're going to do now is take a look down here at the media information section. So we can see a use size of 165.34 megabytes. What that is, is the player. Okay, so if I uncheck the player, it's going to go right down to zero. But I need that player in order to play back the footage. So your minimum size to back up anything is going to be at least 165 megabytes. Okay, it's going to show me how much free space I have available on that drive as well. So I can back up up to 12.7 gigabytes of footage. To select your footage, we're going to go to Add Time Frame. And this is going to look very similar to the multicam uh, options if you've used it to backup video before. This is the exact same process. So what I'm looking at here is I'm going to select the start and end date. So we're just going to use today's date, September 27th for that. And then I'm going to select the start and the end time. So I'm going to say I'm going to look for everything from seven in the morning right up until the end of the day. So it's going to tell me that I have seven events, 302 megabytes worth of data in there. So I'm going to click OK. And that's going to bring me back to the previous screen. You'll see the use size is now updated. So it's giving you the total of the videos plus the player that you that you need. Once that's done, I'm satisfied I've got all the cameras that I want. Um, I'm satisfied that I've got the time frame that I want. You just go ahead and click OK. So just to back that up a little bit, I just want to take one more look at the add time frame. Down here on the bottom, I just want to point out, so I've only got one camera on this system. If you have 30 cameras or 10 cameras, they will all be listed down here. And you need to check which cameras that you want to back up. By default, it will be all of the cameras. Okay, so if you have 30 of them, that's going to take up a lot of space. So make sure that you do indicate which cameras you're looking to back up. Okay, so I'm just going to go back to the previous screen. I'm going to click OK. And that's going to run through the backup process for the footage onto the folder that I selected on the hard disk. Okay, so now that the full backup is complete, I also want to take a look at the AVI button and sort of explain the differences. When you do the backup this way, it has what's called watermarking. Watermarking is a way of ensuring that that video has not been tampered with. Okay, so if you're giving this to the police, it's going to go to courts. The defendant's lawyer may want to know that the video has watermarking, hasn't been tampered with in any way very important that you do the backup this way. Okay, when you back it up this way, you must use the GeoVision player. Okay, the only way around that is to go on the GeoVision website or contact contact us at Century Security Systems Incorporated and get the special codex in order to play back the files. The codex are dependent on the version of the VMS software, so it can get a little bit uh, tricky, especially if you're trying to play back footage from years ago. So the best way to do it is use the view log player. 
Okay. So I'm going to click cancel here. And if we go back to our view log, we go to our toolbar and we go back to the tools, we've got the save as AVI button. So the save as AVI button allows you to back up your video files directly to an AVI file. The AVI file can then be played back using Windows Media Player, can be uploaded to YouTube and so on. You can only back up one camera at a time. Okay, so you've got your start and end date the same as before. So you just drag the slider over to where you'd like to start. Um, or you can enter in the time manually and then where you want to finish. Okay, now it's very important if you're going to do it this way that you go into the settings. And right here under codec, you need to change that codec to the WMV9. That's the Windows Media Video, so Windows Media Player 9 or newer will play back that video. Once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and click OK. Oh, sorry, before we do that, right up here at the top is showing you the location that it's backing that file up to. Okay, if you want to change that, you just click over here to the right, and it'll bring up your menu to, to select a different file location. Once you're happy with how you have that set up, you just press OK, and it'll do the backup process for you. Thanks for tuning in to this week's video. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have any video requests, just contact us at Century Security Systems, and we'd be happy to do a how-to video for you. Thanks for watching.